Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at error intervals and also introducing the ideas of upper and lower bounds. So first of all then, what is an error interval? So whenever we do any kind of rounding to whatever degree of accuracy, so either to the nearest whole number, to the nearest ten, to certain decimal places or significant figures, we are making an error. We are going from our exact value to an estimate of error. Uh, to an estimate of the value. So an error interval tells us the range of values that our exact value could have taken before we did any type of rounding. So a typical error interval looks like this chap down here. So we've got x is greater than or equal to. Now on the left we have the smallest possible value that would round up to x. Now this is called our lower bound and on the right we've got x is strictly less than, on the right we put the smallest number that wouldn't round down to x, and this chap is called our upper bound. So hopefully we'll make this make more sense by going through some examples. So let's do just that. Okay, so the number of people in a room, n, is 40 rounded to the nearest 10. So first of all let's set up the middle of our error interval, so we're going to have n with a greater than or equal to on its left and a strictly less than on its right. Now we need to think what is the smallest possible number that would round up to 40? Well, it's 35. So 35 here is our lower bound. And then on the right, we need to think what is the smallest number, the very first whole number that doesn't round down to 40. Well, that would be 45. 45 will round up to 50. If we had 44 there, it would still round down to uh, 40. So there, n can take any value between 35, that's strictly less than 45. Okay, example two. Uh, the number of people in a room, n, is 500, rounded to the nearest 100. So, pretty much the same as last time. Let's set up the middle of our uh, interval. Now, what's the smallest possible number that would round up to 500? That's 450. So our lower bound there is 450. And then what is the smallest? The very first number that wouldn't round down to 500. That's going to be 550. So our error interval there is n can be greater than or equal to 450, but strictly less than 550. Okay, what happens when decimal places get involved? So x equals 6.4 rounded to one decimal place. So, let's stick in the x in the middle of our interval this time. And the two inequality signs. Now then, what's the smallest possible number that would round up to 6.4? Well, it's going to be in the 6.3s, and in fact, it's going to be 6.35. Anything less than 6.35 is going to round to 6.3 or less. And then what's the first number that wouldn't round down to 6.4? Well, that's 6.45. And it's when we deal with um, decimal places that it really becomes important that we have this strict inequality on the right. Otherwise we could write down something like 6.49 or we could even go bigger than that, 6.499. We could go even bigger than that, 6.4999. All three of those are still allowed in the interval. But... If we were to do it like that, we would have to put 0.649 recurring. So instead, we put a strict inequality sign and just use the first number that wouldn't round down to 6.4. Okay, the next one. So we've got y equals 8.75 rounded to two decimal places. So we stick y in the middle with the inequality signs. So rounded to two decimal places, that means both our bounds are going to be three decimal places. So what's the smallest number that would round up to 8.75? Well, that's going to be 8.745. And then the smallest number that wouldn't round down 
to 8.75 is going to be 8.755. That would round up to 8.76. So it would be out of our interval. Okay, then what about significant figures? So A equals 12 rounded to two significant figures. So our second sig fig here is the two. So that means then we need to go one figure further. So let's whack A in the middle of the interval. So A is greater than or equal to or strictly less than. Now what's the lowest value that would round up to? 12 to two significant figures. That's going to be 11.5. And remember the second one is our second significant figure. We've got a 5 after it, so it'd round up to a 2. And then the smallest number that wouldn't round down to 12 would be 12.5. So then again, our second sig figure is the 2. It's got a 5 after it, so we would round it up to 3. Cool. And then one more for this video. B equals 1.23, rounded to three significant figures. So here, the three is our third sig fig. So we're going to have to have four significant figures in our interval. So we're going to have B is greater than or equal to, but less than. So what's the smallest number that would round up to 1.23? It's 1.225. So then our third sig fig would be the two which has got a 5 after it, so we would round it up to a 3. And then our upper bound is going to be 1.235. So just checking that, our third sig fig there is the 3. He's got a 5 after him, so he would round up to a 4. Okay guys, that's error intervals. Hope it's helped. Was this video helpful? If so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment letting me know how you get on. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any videos. For any further information, you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. Search for Maths with Mouth. Cheers, guys.